When is a grape not a grape? When it's a jaboticaba. Jaboticaba? What on earth is that? Ah, stick around and you'll soon find out. <laughs> Jaboticaba, otherwise called the Brazilian cherry, that's because it's native to the southeastern section of Brazil and adjoining countries. We've had three types of Jaboticabas growing in this garden for about five years, and today I'd like to introduce them to you. Plus, my favorite part of any gardening experience, we get to reap and taste one of those that are now bearing. And here's the first one I'd like to show you. This is the bushier, really attractive one. It has small leaves. It's been here in this location now, ooh, I'd say four years. And for this tree, although I love it so much, it really looks good. The downside is it does not bear as well as I would like. But part of that could be that Jaboticabas, um, they flower and fruit better if they are in a group of similar trees where cross-pollination can occur. Now the second jabo is within say 15-20 feet of this one but because also it's of a different type they don't flower at the same time so there really is no benefit of cross-pollination from the second tree. But in its native Brazil Jaboticaba is also used a lot in landscaping and I suppose in due course this is what this tree is going to become a beautiful specimen right up front in the food nurse. This is the second Jaboticaba tree. It's the same species as the first, but a different variety. The leaves are larger. The limbs, there's, it has a more open growth, fewer limbs, fewer branches at the lower section. So it's a more open framework. And because the fruit bears on the, directly on the stem, that's an advantage to us because they're easier to see, to observe. You see a few young ones here, blossoms are coming up. This tree is forever in a stage of bearing. It's either just starting or fruiting. So for the year, we get three or four crops from it. It is, as I say, a lovely tree, not as dense as the first, but much more prolific. So this is what the Jabo fruits look like. The fruits, ah, here's a green one. From flowers to green fruits, and by about four weeks, these lovely purple cherry looking fruits. They're not quite ready. They're not as sweet as we like them, but we figure in about another week or so, they should be nice and juicy. Well, those fruits have matured and it's time to pick them. Actually, I've been sampling quite a few already, but I will pick the remainder before the birds get them. And then I'll show you what the inside looks like. So hold on. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. And we are picking the jabo. Hey, look at that. Uh, see the juices coming out? Ow, there we go. I was in my mouth. So they're all ready. And from the point of being ready to being over ready is about a day or two. This one, I'm not sure, can you see it? Is soft on the tree. So they should have been picked yesterday. We want to pick them when they're nice and firm. But juicy. So, and while I'm picking, I you can get in closer here. You'll see that there are several young ones. That's the next crop following. And I'm predicting that within three weeks, these will move from that stage to this ready stage. They develop quite quickly. Now we're gonna finish picking all that already now. And then I'm gonna show you 
really what it is that makes the jabo a very lovely fruit. This is the third Jabotikaba tree. It actually is quite different from the other two. It's a different species. Same family and genus, but a different species. It has totally different leaf structure. And the fruits are yellow, not deep red as the others. We've had this plant in the nursery. It was a gift from my very good friend, Reg. But I kept it in pot for about two years because it just had such a lovely shape. It is not as easy to grow as the others. It has a specific requirement for pH. Most of the jabos do well in slightly acid to neutral pH, but this one is really reacting. Our soils here tend to be high at the more alkaline level. It does not like that. So every two months or three months, I have to attempt to feed the iron. It shows up iron deficiency very quickly. And what you're seeing here as the yellowing is um, time for another micronutrient application. It also does not bloom as well. This is only the third time it flowers well. These are the old, these are the flower buds, but it is very reluctant to set fruit. And it could also be the same issue of um, cross pollination. But the fruit, when they are ready, are really, really delicious. The skin is thicker than the other types very difficult to pick with your fingernails but it has a very unique flavor sweet pineapple-ish so it's something I want to encourage in the garden but as I say it takes a bit more care and it does respond to the micronutrient uh, applications once at three months but I have to be on top of that so there you have it third Jabotikaba this one really is an ornamental as far as I'm concerned the few fruits that are going to bear really are just for my consumption. So I'm just showing you what the inside of this Jabotikaba fruit looks like, if you haven't seen it already. Now, when we're getting ready to eat it, we do not do this, but just to show you that there's a nice juicy pulp and in there are two seeds. But honestly, in the garden or when I pick it and take it inside, all you do is Pop it. And <laughs> once you've already enjoyed all of that lovely, sweet, juicy, then you, what is left is the skin, which is rather hard, leathery, and the two seeds, which of course you discard. It really is so nice, especially if you're doing something else at the same time. Similar to grape, but unlike the grape, the skin is really not edible. So you have to discard that after you eat it. That's it. So there you have it. Our three jabos growing very well in this garden. Something of an interest, curiosity for when our friends visit. Except the second plant I showed you, it really does bear well. And we enjoy the fruits. Jabotic covers can also be used for wine and we're waiting for sufficient fruits to do that. It also is an excellent fruit, similar to grapes as we said, but the downside as far as the comparison to grape, Jabotic cover has a very short shelf life. But we're going to continue with it. These trees are about five years old and a lot of them take more than five years to bear at their peak, between five to eight years. So we keep an eye on it and I uh, continue to enjoy the fruits. That's it for today. If you enjoy the program, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about the program. Also, there are Calyx Books, which has a wide variety of information on tropical exotic fruits. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.